Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Matchbox Fire Department channel. As you know, in the in a video on Martin the Man 16 channel, I've talked about switching over the Matchbox Fire Department to this channel so that you guys can see all the fire department stuff over here. Now, for the other channel, like how I said, I'm going to keep it reviews, but I will have the Roberts Park Lego Fire District over there. So you guys will expect those there. And uh, reviews and uh, you know some other stuff over there now for this channel welcome if you haven't followed and thank you for following I know it's been a while since I've uploaded here but I am getting back into this channel and I hope you guys will support that so here it is station one I built this station I think in like 2011 2012 it's been around a while um, this was part of the projects of me starting to build stations um, so as you can see this is a pretty nicely built station not the best but um, it works and I'll explain everything going on with the Matchbox Fire Department so the Matchbox Fire Department has started a whole um, new process of reorganizing each station and um, it's, a, it's an ongoing process in which the department wants to make sure that each station has the correct amount of equipment and anything needed for the whole district responding throughout the whole division which has all of the matchbox fire department um, just like the city of chicago we are in our own division and uh, so we have to support anything that happens in our district within all kinds of ranges of calls so we have um, special equipment ready to go. Uh, this station happens to be next to an airport. So this station actually got divided into two separate stations. For those of you who don't know, Station 1 and Station 1A. Station 1 does most of the calls in the city, but it will respond to the airport station if needed, if the airport crew or airport fire station crew need assistance. Sometimes they respond out of the airport to calls that you know their equipment might be needed for for instance if we have a plane crash near the airport then they would respond to that with the um, uh, man, let's see if I can get it with the uh, Colette K30 Jaguar uh, airport truck all right let's see so this pile here of these random cars there, that's from a different station, different stations that uh, have equipment that was replaced. So let's start off with uh, taking a look at the station. The station is actually two levels, but um, this is just a cutout part of the station just so you could see the whole setup. So we have a front bay here. Uh, the original firehouse also had one. And that's where the main engine always would respond out of. Engine engine one dash one. Uh, the setup for the companies goes by type of vehicle. So for engine, it's E. And then by station one. So station one is E one, and engine number is one. So engine. E1-1 since that's how the setup is for the stations now so let's take a look at engine 1 here put this down right here push these away and I'm gonna put these a little further away just enough so we can take a look at each vehicle like how I've done in the past so here's engine 1-1 one -one. it's a 2014 International Durastar These are uh, custom, custom uh, commercial chassis in which the district likes to use for certain calls. This truck is very good off-road. That's very likable by the firefighters who have to normally go down certain alleys that... Um, 
that are not paved. So there we go. There's a little look at the engine. I'm gonna put it back. Alrighty. So that's from the front of the building. Here, let's take a look on back. So the bays are set up like this, where we have two vehicles responding out of one bay, as you can see. Two, 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 and two. And in the middle, there are spaces where we can fit reserve or backup apparatus. And as you can see, we have backup ambulance and a backup engine. This one actually rotates with the all the engines. So we got one, two, three engines. This one rotates with all of them. The one that we used to have here was a white engine, which was replaced in 2014. Went to station 1A to be one of their backups. So the district completely didn't replace it, just rotated some of the rigs out. And, um, yep. Yeah. You guys will get to see a station 1 later on. Our station 1A later on. Next, we have Ambulance 1 1, which is right here. As those of you who know, I call these internationals, but this is a 2008 International Thorough Star. Next, we have a 2007 International 4300. And next, we have a 2011 International Dirt Star. Uh, there will be a new ambulance coming in. Uh, I'm not sure yet when it will be in, but it, it will come in here and we'll replace the reserve ambulance, which will be probably rotate into station 1A. Next we have engine 1-2. Okay, which is a 1998 International. I don't know if I messed up on the ambulance names or not, but there we go. And like I said, this one is a reserve. Next, we have engine 1-3, which is a 2009 Pierce dash, as we know, dash. Um, they stopped production of the dash a while back, so we'll just go with that they've continued to make them. But there we go. And then next is engine 1-4, which is a 2010. Same thing, same specs, everything just a, built a year later. Next we have Rescue 1-1, which is a 2008 Dennis Sabre. The district has a few of these in them. And I know um, sometimes I go in between calling it the Matchbox Fire Department, Matchbox Fire District. It's just, you know, it, it happens. <laughs> okay, next we have Ladder 1-1, which is a 2005. I call them Pierce Arrows. Even though it doesn't look like a Pierce Arrow. This is more like a, a Quint. has about a 75 foot ladder on it. Next we have a 2004 Pierce Quantum. Uh, there were, when I was setting up this station I realized that one of the rigs does not fit into the station anymore so I had to uh, make a quick decision of what's gonna happen and I've decided that it will get rotated into Station 1A. Uh, next, we have a, 2000, a ladder 1 3, which is a 2008 fire engine, which I call a Dennis also. Somebody once commented on one of my videos saying that this actually does look like a Dennis. 
So, you know, ever since then we went with it. And I know some of you guys don't like that, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Next, we have Decon 1. Specialty units will have um, just a station number, unless there's multiples of those. So right now we have Decon 1, which is a 2008 International Duristar. Um, this model also gets called a, by, called a International Duristar, I know. Some of you don't like that, but, you know, I like internationals, so I'll go with that. You guys can go with whatever you want. Next, we have Hazmat 1, which is a 2011 Hazard Squad. Um, this one kind of looks like the old Spartan Gladiator Evolutions, so that's what we call them. This is a very nice truck. I really like this casting. Very nice. Next, we have Tanker 1, which is a 2013 International Durastar. I know some of you guys are thinking this is not Matchbox, but as you know, there are certain things that Matchbox doesn't make that somebody else makes, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. running out of room next is command one this is the vehicle that doesn't fit anymore so it's gonna go to station one a and um, it's gonna respond out of there since it's not too far from station one command one will still be command one out of station 1a pretty nice truck Really wish Matchbox still made those. Next, we have Chief 1, which is a 2008 Ford Crown Victoria. I promise you guys the next few videos after this will not be as long. Sorry, and thank you guys if you're still watching. Sorry about my birds, they're kind of loud. Wow, someone's excited. Um, let's see. Next, we have Battalion Chief 1, which is a 2009 Chevy Tahoe. It has a twin out of Station 2, so it only made sense to have them close to each other. There we go. Really would like to see Matchbox make a brand new Chevy Tahoe. Next we have Rescue 1. This car is an ambulance chaser. Kind of like a uh, field chief here in Chicago. Except this one actually chases the ambulance. So this will respond with, with an ambulance to any call. Um, if not, then it will respond with the battalion chief. To set up uh, a command. Next, we have Staff 1-1, one -one, which is a 2008 Hummer H3. This vehicle was, I think, donated to the department. I forgot, I made up some story for this. But it, it's used by the staff um, when they go out get groceries or something. You know, not everybody has to take the whole truck. One guy can get into that. They have lights built into them, so you can respond with them too. Next is Staff 1-2, which is a 2008 Chevy Silverado. And there we go. And yeah, let's pretend it doesn't have a motorcycle on the back of it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh... Hope you guys enjoyed a little update here, and uh, more to come. Station 1A will be probably next week. I'll try to do these videos once a week, because I have a lot of stations to do. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, follow my Facebook page at martindeman 16 and also the Matchbox Fire Department. We have a page for that. Link will be in the description.
Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.